I have several mentors that have helped me get to where I am with the many hats that I wear. At the University of Oklahoma, I wouldn't be where I'm at professionally without Dr. Greg Heiser, my first boss, associate provost, and basically family at this point. I've also had the opportunity to connect with Dr. George Henderson on a variety of inclusivity and diversity issues that I've worked on with the city of Norman. I mentioned the city of Norman because I also am the mayor of Norman. So as I mentioned, I wear many hats and I would not, I think, have pursued this position if it weren't for the two previous female mayors. Mayor Rosenthal was the first to encourage me to run for office. And when I held the Ward 6 city council position, the Mayor Miller encouraged me to run for mayor. And so I always tell our students that leadership is not something that you get to and just attain and quit working at it. But it's it also involves bringing up the next generation of leadership with you because you're not gonna be around forever. And so are you leaving your organization, your city, your school, whatever it is in good hands? Because we all have our, our turns and in different chapters of our lives. And I'm very fortunate to have these amazing people. I'll also mention in terms of pursuing mentors that think differently than you. Uh, I have actually mentor or created a mentor relationship with former mayor Mick Cornett from the city of Oklahoma City, who he tends to be a little bit more conservative and I tend to be a little bit more progressive. And I thoroughly enjoy our conversations because he'll, I'll throw something at him and he'll throw something back that I just didn't even see it that way. So when choosing a mentor, uh, as Saba described, choose someone that will be there for you and support you, but also that will challenge you and help you to think differently.